Brian, I wanted to just quickly touch on the, the potential long-term implications of uh, some of the changes we've seen. You guys have a, a large portion working from home. Jess Staley, the CEO of Barclays, suggested uh, having thousands of people in a single building might be a thing of the past. Do, do you think that's the case, that your long-term prime commercial real estate needs as a company will reduce? Um, our needs as real estate were coming down just because we, you know, in the end of the day, the digitization, the trend that has nothing to do with this virus, this tragic virus, but actually has to do with what was going on, continues relentlessly so we can do more business with less human content, and we manage that well. Um, that'll continue, so we'll have less real estate demands. I, you know, I think, like anything else, I think people, the view of what will happen, because people are people and consumer behavior that we see is, is uh, consumers are, are creatures of habit. You know, 20, 30 years ago, I'd sit with people and they said there'll be no branches in 20 years. Well, guess what? It's 30 years later and we still have 4,300 of them. So, you know, a lot of people's views of how behavior changes, whether people want to come to an office. Right now, they'll have a viewpoint. A year from now, they'll have a different viewpoint. And, and you really have to think about it. After after 9-11, you know, people were afraid of flying for a while, but then TSA came in and the safety ensured this. And that's what it's going to take to get people back to thinking, mm -hmm. which is what are the safety measures? What are the capability of handling similar uh, outbreaks like this in the future? And that's what I think government and businesses like ourselves have learned a lot that we'll continue to apply in future cases that will assure our teammates they're safe. And so I think they'll come back to work. I, I really don't think working from home, even though we're doing it flawlessly, even though we took 180,000 people and did it, even though we deployed 100,000 laptops, even though we have people who are working from home that we never thought would work from home, the reality is we're more effective for the customer mm -hmm. when we're in those buildings and, and doing it. So I think you know, that'll happen. How we'll do that in, in the exact pace and the method we'll do that with is all subject to determination, literally floor by floor, function by function, person by person. And it'll take us a while to kind of get there, largely because we have to get past the point where there's a, this virus cannot hurt people through a vaccine to be actually the ability even to decide we're back to normal. Brian, just quickly to round things off, was there a moment in March where some of your colleagues uh, pushed the balance between getting people back for full effectiveness versus safety of workers uh, a little bit too much? I'm sure you saw my colleague Scott Wapner's story based on uh, a recording of uh, your head of equities, Fabrizio uh, Gallo. Was there, was there a mismatch for a moment there in March in terms of what some of your deputies were telling their, their deputies? I, I think at the end of the day, we've handled this very well for our teammates. And I've got uh, 200,000 plus people I'm responsible for every day. And my management team is responsible for every day. And they all have access to me to express any concern. And, and we take care of that. And so the best thing we did is we took about 9,000 high-risk people out of the business, you know, it put them, took them home immediately, even though a substantial part of those teammates have been, work, have been home since then without an ability to work because, let's say, it was a branch manager and you can't manage a branch if you're not there type of thing. So we, we've handled it well. Um, and so uh, if any employee has an issue, they can come forward and, and ask me about it. They, and I'm happy to answer it. But the team's done a great job, Sherry Bronstein, our HR team. And think about the repositioning of that many people that fast, and yet it was the highest market volumes ever, our tech and, op uh, and operations groups with the highest market volumes ever, and not having any issues of closing and, and even closing a quarter in the middle of it. It was unbelievable execution by the team.